This video is the second tutorial about creating a MIDI random note generator in Max for Live. In this video I will show how I create buttons to control variables in a JavaScript object. Reopen the project saved in tutorial 1. Insert four live.dial buttons in your device. Open the inspector panel. Check include and presentation in the properties of the four buttons. Change the short name property of each button. Call the first one, lower note. The second one, note range. The third one, Lower velocity. And the fourth one, velocity range. Insert four messages. In the first message write, set lower note dollar one. In the second message write, set note range dollar one. In the third message write, set over velocity dollar one. In the fourth message write, set velocity range dollar one. Link each button outputs to the message inputs. Link each message outputs to the JavaScript object input. Open the script. Create four variables corresponding to each button. Lower note, note range, lower velocity, velocity range. Create four functions corresponding to each message by writing the functions. Set lower note, set note range, set lower velocity, set velocity range. Each of these functions will be called when the corresponding button value changes. In the function msgint, change the fixed values by the name of the variables. With every object unselected, in the View menu, click on Inspector window. Check Open in Presentation. Again in the View menu, click Presentation. Arrange the buttons to fit the device.
Save and close. When the track is played, the values of the random generator is controlled by moving the buttons. It can also be controlled by automation envelopes. In the next video, I will show how I record MIDI from my Mac's device.